Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel again. My name is Emilio Suarez and I've been kind of lost for the past three months almost, but these uh, months have been a little bit crazy uh, because I'm gonna make another short film uh, with my friends and slash uh, colleagues, of course. I'm very excited about that. We haven't uh, done a short film as a collective uh, production company since 2015 where we made a short film, a horror comedy short film uh, called uh, Don't Fall Asleep, Motherfucker. I'm gonna put the link down below so you can go and, and watch the short film if you want to, to see it. It has a little bit of issues, of course, because the company, I, I still call it the company, but we don't have any money. So we just take money from our own pockets to uh, made the short film and we're doing the same with this one now this is the first sci-fi story that i have ever written and i want to know how it's gonna look the director has told me a lot of things that he has in mind and the uh, uh, production part of course and we are very excited and we are going into an unknown territory uh, because we don't know how everything is going to look at the end so I want to take this video to talk to you a little bit about short films because not everybody has the money to make a big motion picture um, film or maybe you um, don't know a lot of people who, who have the, the equipment or I don't know the time that involves uh, doing a long film. So I want to talk to you a little bit about my process, the process that we uh, do to make a short film okay the first thing the company were just three people okay there's the director who's also the editor and the producer she's also uh, an actress and me who is a writer and an actor we've known each other for almost 10 years so the first things first um, What's a short film, okay? Let's talk a little bit about a short film. The short film uh, tends to be a film with less time, of course, uh, from a minute to almost 30 minutes. And I say almost 30 minutes because not everything is written in stone, but there are some issues with the time in a short film. A couple of reasons. I read somewhere, I don't remember where you know, on the internet, that a short film can get until like 40 minutes but that's extremely long okay the idea is to create a story a complete story in the structural sense in the, in the storytelling sense in the least time uh, that you can the problem with doing a short film that is almost 30 minutes long it's not a problem it's still you know, um, you can do it. You can do whatever you want. Here are the problems that at least we have here in Puerto Rico. And I guess uh, that's the same problem with a lot of places where you want to take your project because short films tend to go to film festivals about short films. Uh, you can do your own short film and put it on YouTube, of course, and you just wait for somebody to watch it and maybe contact you because liked it which can happen but it's youtube it's pretty pretty big it's extremely big so for you to get noticed most of the time you have to become a trend so it can get shared and shared until some people go and watch it but when you take your short film to festivals it's a little bit more niche uh concentrated place where people who are looking for short films or just are in the mood of filming or and and cinema go over there and they find people or they contact you or they just recruit people or and they make networking so they can work on other projects together and that's how you are going to be uh, getting a little bit more uh, bigger and bigger if you can say that that doesn't mean that if you put your project in a festival, it's gonna uh, get um, a name and, and you are gonna be in Hollywood. 
even if you win uh, certain festivals, okay? Winning a festival is just another piece of your resume as a director or producer or whatever you're doing. It's just something that you add into the resume. Of course, it's good, it's big, but you have to have that in mind. Now, about the timing. If you can do it as short as you can, like maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 15 minutes, sometimes it's too long, it would be great for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, if your short film gets selected to participate in a festival, it's easier for them to be a shorter film. Why? Because you can put more films into just uh, a couple of hours. Like, for example, think about a movie that's three hours long. Even if it's Avengers Endgame, who's gonna be like sold out, just think a little bit about that. If your movie is three hours long in a theater, you have uh, one group of people, uh, full, uh, all full seats and all, watching the film for three hours. So you get one payment for three hours. But if you have one film that is an hour and a half, you can run that movie twice. So you can complete the three hours twice so you get double the money that's one of the reasons and other reasons is that you can put more short films because their uh, festivals receive short films for from all around the world so there's a lot they have to see and watch and then select what they want to put and why because that's another thing just because you pay the submission that doesn't mean you're gonna get selected to uh, to go into the festival to for your project to get you know viewed in the festival it's just a submission like you're going to a grad school or something like that now the first thing that i do is just write a script it's as easy as that just write the script now i have to think about a lot of things thing number one is we don't have money i don't have money i have We've been uh, saving money for a year just to do this one and we don't have <laughs> enough. So right now we're just looking for sponsorship in some uh, places to, to get this done as best as we can. So I have to think about that. So I write the screenplay. I, it's inevitable just to think about I don't have enough money to put that like a car chase or explosions or buildings falling or anything of that so i have to think what do i have or what could be possible to find out or to get so i can make this film and i get a uh, focus on the story you have to get focus on your story once i finish the story i just send the story to a certain group of people that i have who can read my screenplay. That group of people includes, of course, the director and the producer, okay? And I have a couple of, uh, of people, of course. And you, when you write any screenplay, you should have a very filtered couple of people that you can show your screenplay so they can give you feedback about it. All the people that you have in that group can know a lot about cinema or screenplay because you want variety in the audience that you're going to be receiving so if you can find people that knows something about screenwriting screenplay that can give you feedback great if you have somebody else also uh, that knows about cinema great if you have people that doesn't know anything about cinema or writing stories that's great too because that's your audience okay your audience is gonna be a variety of, of people oh yes but i'm gonna uh, put this into a festival and the festival as you said is gonna be a very niche group yes it's gonna be an, a, a niche group of people that usually know something about cinema but you want to do more with that once i send that to all the people that i want to send the screenplay I receive all the critiques and all the feedback and I work on it once more. And when it's finished 
almost finished and I talk with uh, my friends who are the producer and the director and we talk about the story and what can we do with it and all of that then we do another meeting so we can cut on the budget okay we start like going line by line scene by scene checking can we do this in this other way without losing the essence of the drama of the story and then i go to work again on that we cut things uh, we try to to put things in another uh, way of showing for example if you have two people fighting and there's gonna be blood and there's gonna be arms maybe a, a tube or something and you have to hit the other person in the head you have to be careful with that because you are not a big production company so what if something goes wrong and you don't have any insurance or anything maybe you can change that to a shadow okay and think about what's going on in the scene maybe the scene the the importance of the scene is not to look at the fight but to look at the person if there's another person of course looking at that fight we are more interested in the reaction of the person who's looking so we can have the reaction of the person let's imagine that over there there's people fighting and here it's somebody looking at that fight who's gonna be in the camera okay and there's a light and that light's uh, gonna reflect the shadows of them in the back okay so you can still have the drama still have uh, the essence of and maybe and lots of times gets better because sometimes we just put things because they look great okay or they look cool we have to think what's the important thing to show after that well we just go into meetings and meetings and go and find people who can help us with um, art department and dressing department and makeup and all of that and after that we just start shooting and once it's finished we start checking for all the festivals that we are interested in not only festivals here in puerto rico but festivals outside uh, in the united states in asia in europe but there's a bunch there's a lot of festivals around the world so you have to be very careful because you have to pay for each festival that you're gonna submit your short film try to check out for festivals that have been uh, running for lots of years or for at least maybe 10 years and check out the films that have been there or the people that have been there lots of these festivals have maybe a youtube channel uh, where they put the winners or a couple of short films that they have presented in their festivals so you can see the quality of the of the short film that they put over there okay and i'm gonna add another link down below because we were in a festival called the screen fest and our short film was there so i'm gonna link uh the page their page in case you want to check out that festival uh, because it's one of the festivals that we were uh competing we didn't want but you know once it runs for all the festivals that it need uh to be usually um you can run your um uh, movie for a year maybe two years maximum no no more than that and you cannot and in lots of festivals you cannot put a film that it's too old they want things that are new and things that haven't been shown in for example online that you you cannot put something online on youtube for free and then put it also in the festival okay you can maybe put a, a trailer but you have to check all the instructions of every festival once it ends the life of the short film ends then you can upload it as we did with the short film that that i was talking to you about um and you can upload it into youtube so people can watch it and keep on living so we can live some kind of a cage free life or something like that and of course while it's running you can be preparing your next film and maybe you can have a film every year and concentrate yourself in doing a short film 
every year. So I hope you have liked this video and I'm gonna see you pretty soon because I wanna keep on uh, recording things and show them uh, to you, okay? So, gracias YouTube.